The Spies Next Door. FBI agents had been following Anna Chapman for six months and were prepared now to close in on her. She had become the weak link. Obviously, she's the most attractive, so she's gotten the most press. She probably has the best bet for a movie deal if she wants to pursue it. Um, but at the end of the day, she made some serious mistakes as a spy. The undercover FBI agent gets Anna to agree to meet him later in the day at a coffee shop in downtown Manhattan. And is very excited to do so and is happy to trade information with what turns out to be the FBI. And this person has another mission for her. I have a phony passport here, and it's very important that you, Anna Chapman, deliver it to this person I'm going to show you a photo of here tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Exactly. And, you know, the interesting thing is she pauses before moving forward with that, but for whatever reason didn't follow her gut feeling. And often when you're in this business, your gut feeling can keep you alive, keep you safe. At Verizon, she finally emerged with a shopping bag in hand, a bag she tossed into a garbage bin. Agents were watching. And there's her next mistake, discarding information in a trash can. Agents retrieve the bag and find a receipt made out to an invented name with a fake address and a charger for a brand new Motorola phone. She's buying a cell phone to do something that's clearly cl clandestine. You don't throw away the charger for that. Use it once, throw it away kind of? Exactly, a one-time phone. Anna is told if she pulls off the passport exchange successfully, it will do her career wonders back at Spy Central in Moscow. The undercover agent challenges her. Are you up for the game, Anna Chapman? And of course, she, she in no uncertain terms if you read the indictment, was, was certainly up for it. Exploit deleted. Yes. So she, she was clearly into spying, and it seems to me this was a bit of an adrenaline rush for her.